Hi, this is Brian, first 100 hours at the E-Track. I'm out at the park and uh, you can hear the grounds crew mowing in the background. I apologize for that. I dug uh, what I thought was going to be a dime signal, but it appears I have a quarter. Let's see what kind it is. Oh! Oh, that looks like a, a barber. It is. It's a really, really worn barber quarter. Take that home and, and give it a wash and doubt we'll find a date on it, but we'll see. Alright, take it. Thanks for watching. Hi there, this is Brian, first 100 hours with the E-Track. I'm at the park, digging a iffy signal. It was 1246, but bouncing around quite a bit. I opened up the plug and woefully missed my pinpointing. I'll blame that on some iron, I suppose. If you can see, down there I have a little silver stinking out. I'm going to try to excavate it here without, uh, without nicking it. I'll be back once I get it pulled out. Okay, I've got it out and it turns out to be a pretty worn Washington Quarter. Date on the front says uh, 1935 and I don't see a mint mark there under the eagle. I'll get it cleaned up when I get home and, and show it to you. It's cool, two quarters in a row. Barber in a Washington. We'll catch you guys later. This is Brian here, fit first 100 hours with the E-Track. We're at about hour number 47. It's a few minutes after I found that silver Washington quarter and I dug a uh, dime signal. And it's at about the depth to be a uh, silver dime when I've been finding them here in the park. So we'll excavate it here with you guys watching. Oh, and it's a wheat penny. Generally don't film these. Looks like a 19, 1948 wheat penny. All right, we'll come back when we find something else good. This is Brian here, first 100 hours with the E-Track. Still out at the park today. Dug an iffy signal and uh, give you an idea of how deep it is. We're about uh, that deep in this hole. Thought I was chasing iron, but it was a quarter signal on the E-Track and as I opened it up, it sounded better and better. And I can see a quarter down in there. So I'll excavate it, finish excavating it here with you guys. See if I can get it out and hold the camera in one hand. The bottom of this ground here, it's just, it's, it's rocky. It's full of really hard clay. I don't want to dig this coin up, especially if it is a quarter. It might be a dime. This is probably one of the deepest signals yet I've uh, got in my little bit of experience with the E-Track. Ooh, what is that? Oh my gosh, that might be something else. That's big. Oh, it's a silver token. <laughs> well, not silver, I mean, sorry, a token. There's a little clover on there. It says, it says good luck on it. And on the front, I see an American flag and there's a star in the outline. That's pretty light, that's gotta be aluminum. Yeah, man, I saw that edge like that and started thinking silver dollar maybe, but nope, it's a token. Still pretty neat. I'll get her cleaned up and, and show it to you. Come back later if we find anything else cool. This is Brian back here. First 100 hours with the E-Track. Still at the park. As you can see, a pretty, pretty shallow signal here. And, and actually, uh, I dug the plug a little deeper than what the target is. It was uh, ringing up at about two inches, and I thought uh, clad dime for sure, but no, this is a 1946 Roosevelt. Looks like it's got some pretty black stain on it. I'll go home, clean her up, see if I can find a mint mark. And 
I'll come back to you guys if I find anything else here. Okay, this is Brian here, first 100 hours with the E-Track. After the hunt, we finished hour number 50, so we're halfway through our Padawan training with the MindLab E-Track. I got uh, $9.53 in clad this time. I found 10 total wheat pennies. Most of them are in the 40s and 50s, but uh, one of them is a 1911D, so uh, a better penny. And I looked, I, that D was kind of kind of funky on it. I looked and was hoping it was an S, but uh, no, it, it was a D. Still better than a common date. Um, this is pretty neat. It's a little pewter ring. It's got a baseball player on it and it says Yankees. So probably from a, a Little League or Junior Babe Ruth League kid. Lost their little pewter ring for their team. This was that token that I dug up. I did some research online and found out that these kind of good luck tokens were made in the World War II era, the, uh, the mid-40s. It is made out of aluminum. And uh, on this side, with the clover, there would be a, a custom stamp from an arcade machine on here that the person would uh, would purchase this coin and select up to 32 characters that they could punch a name, place, or whatever on here. This one's unstamped, so uh, leads me to believe it was a, a blank or just lost before it could have been stamped. Then I found this. This is a, a stretch penny, copper stretch penny. It says, my lucky penny on it. <laughs> it's got a clover. I couldn't tell what kind of penny it was, whether it was a memorial or a wheat. It was stretched pretty good. And then I found three silver coins this, this time around. A 1909 S Barber Quarter, a 1935 P Washington Quarter, and a 1946 P Roosevelt Dime with some pretty ugly black tarnish on it, unfortunately. Quarter is pretty worn, and the barber quarter is really worn. And those are my finds for this set of 10 hours with my MindLab e track. Hope to show you some more, and, and hope to continue learning this machine and finding some awesome stuff.